Welcome back to the Uranium Fever channel. Alongside everything else that came with the Mutation Invasion update for Fallout 76, a new random encounter was added. On your travels, you may now encounter Indrid Cold, or as he is also known, the Smiling Man. Shoe in for the creepiest character in the entire game, speaking to this entity makes everything worse. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. At least, not yet. A fascinating addition, I'll be showing you how to find him and explore some interesting links to the Mothman and potentially the update coming in June, once in a blue moon. Let's get started. Massive shout out to Lux from the Data Mining Discord for confirming he had been added with this update, but to find the Smiling Man, you're going to need to search random scene encounter locations. I've left a map in the description for the full list of these, but to find him myself I only used this spot near Darling Sister's lab, and this spot near Aaron Holt Homestead, setting my tent down close to the latter and server hopping until he showed up. Unmistakable in his black Jack Gordon outfit, he actually won't speak to you until you initiate conversation, creepily staring at you as you circle around him. Perhaps even creepier than his smile though is actually his dialogue, so let's take a listen to what he has to say. Salutations! Do not be afraid. I do hope I have found you well. Indrid, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What are you called? We have, haven't we? Not from you, for you. I want only happiness for you. I have been away a long time. It appears that much has changed during my absence. I have such sights to see. Perhaps you can recommend a local peculiarity. Am I? I am in no way special nor spectacular. You have my thanks for your time and company. Before I forget, I must go. I do hope to see you again. So there's a lot to unpack from that, but when he says he needs to go, he actually won't go anywhere. He introduces himself as Indrid Cold, and the Smiling Man is in fact a reference to a real cryptid sighting of the same name native to West Virginia. It's hard to believe he means well with that grin, but interesting that he mentions he's been away a while. The change is presumably being the nuclear Armageddon. Although the conversation is fascinating, it's actually his other dialogue that's more interesting in my opinion. If you interact with him repeatedly, he will say this. Smile, and the whole world smiles with you. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. At least, not yet. I've heard the moon can be Baloo, and I trust that to be true. Ever dance with the devil under a blue moon? So, the devil and a blue moon both crop up multiple times, and the update slated for June is called Once in a Blue Moon. It's hard not to see some foreshadowing here. The only way to actually say goodbye to Indrid is attempting to attack him. I really must be on my way, as must you. After which he'll disappear in a flash of black smoke that's extremely similar to the Mothman travelling during combat. And the links between these two don't actually stop here. Talking to the new Mothman cultist ally brother Stevie, he has this to say. Not yet, but I did see something strange. A very friendly man. While his personality was cold, he could not shake his smile. I feel as though we were looking for similar things. Steven has seen the smiling man whilst looking for the Mothman, and most interestingly mentions that it seemed like they were both looking for similar things combined with the smoke and it seems pretty clear cut. However, it doesn't even stop there though, as the second supposed sighting of the Smiling Man in real life was in fact at the same time and place as the Mothman sighting. Whatever the case, it seems that we'll be learning more about these entities in the not too distant future. Do you think the Smiling Man really wants us to be happy? And is this a foreshadowing of the June update? Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed this particular video, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. We post a variety of different Fallout 76 content, so turning on the bell icon is definitely the best way to stay up to date. With that said though, I'm off. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.